All right, what is up? What is up? Welcome to another video. Um, I'm gonna show you guys this loss. <laughs> Pretty hilarious. Pretty sure you guys are going to enjoy it. I'm using Fabricio Verdum in this uh, in this video right here, just testing out Verdum. Um, and uh, you'll see exactly what happened. So, my opponent is Cyril Gone, and I, I will say, I do my very best anytime I play this game to not get too upset regardless of what happens I mean the game still has to be somehow remotely interesting or fun to play and if I'm getting mad about it and it's stressing me out I just don't play it I gotta just go do something else but um, in this fight my plan was to eventually take down Siragon and start to work some some grappling but I never really show my hand early on in a fight like if I have a plan if there's something I want to do let's say I want to grapple or whatever or there's a specific tactic I want to use as I set him down right there with the one-two head kick. I never really show it early on because I know that if an opponent shows their hand early on, I key in on that and then I keep an eye for that. And typically, whatever it is they're trying to do just stops working. So I try not to do that. Um, so I figured first round, maybe first two rounds, if I don't stop him, I'm just going to strike. I'm going to make him think my whole entire goal is to strike and then I'm going to surprise him with a grapple heavy style to finish things up, especially when I've worked his stamina down a little bit. Now, uh, Verdum is very good on the feet. He's pretty good on the feet. If you want to fight like that with him, that's all good. But you'll notice right there, I sat him down earlier with the one two head kick. He's going to start throwing his own one two head kick combination right here. And you'll notice. Boom! I die. <laughs> Let's watch that again. And as you can see, like, I cut off the recording as soon as it happened because, dude, it was so freaking annoying. I'm like, are you kidding me? I get KO'd stiff like that? Oh, my God. It was so frustrating, bro. Like, I didn't even show the live commentary on this. I just, like, cut out the live commentary because I was freaking cursing like a sailor. It was just ridiculous. But um, you'll see the mistake that I made right there, and it's a mistake that I, I do make often. Um, sometimes you're able to pull back and evade the head kick. If they throw a roundhouse kick and you're far away enough, sometimes you can evade it. So right there, I throw the one-two head kick, sit him down. He starts to mimic the one-two head kick, or he starts going for it himself. It's a well-known combo in the game. And you'll notice that when I, when I saw him throw the one-two head kick, my first reaction was to try to pull back but then mid pull i was like oh god it's not gonna work and then i tried to duck but my 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 fingers it didn't slip but i rather than ducking i slipped to the side leaning directly into the head kick and in the heavyweight division when you lean into a head kick like that there is no grace you just get KO'd. Like, it's just, it's one of the beauties and also misery of fighting in the heavyweight division. So, close to the finish, he's gonna fake it. He's gonna go 1 2, and you'll notice me pull. See? Right there. You see me pull right there? That shows you a reaction I typically have to the 1 2 head kick. Watch this. Boom! I initially try to pull back, but then I try to duck, and I slip to the side by mistake, and I get KO'd stiff and that was painful but learn from my mistake when you see a one two head kick coming especially if you anticipate that that's that's what it's going to be just duck and if you're going to duck down try to do that while holding high block and the reason for that is if you're if you're not holding high block while you're ducking the opponent can throw a one two pause and then throw a front kick if they think you're going to duck or they're gonna go with a 1-2 lead uppercut. And if you're ducking down and you're not holding high block, that uppercut or the front kick is going to land flush. You're not gonna have any cushion whatsoever and you're gonna get finished. That's another mistake that I made right there. I should have I should have held high block when I, when I tried ducking. Because even if I slipped by mistake and I had my high block held and the kick landed, it would have probably rocked me in the heavyweight division, but it wouldn't have been a straight up flash KO. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, short video of me getting my head absolutely blown up. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe.
Peace out. Have a good one.